All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we have what looks to be an elite unit right here, a very, very strong villain character. And I mean, we'll see how things are going to go. But to me, this looks like a character that could stick around for quite a while. Um, you know, you, you'll get a lot of times people will you know argue against like offense versus defensive mechanics and go all down the rabbit hole and stuff like that. But I mean, as the game's events get harder, it gets tougher and tougher and tougher to kind of be able to just even bring a character, and that could take any type of pressure whatsoever. I I'm actually kind of surprised. Fat Boo. So, you know, we have three different levels to this card. Just like, this is the counterpart for Int Gotenks. But just how good they made Fat Boo to me is pretty surprising. Now, I probably will regret this. This character is nice defensively. I probably will regret... Go gearing more towards additional than dodge but we'll see um i do think based upon the high levels of damage reduction that this character has at every step i do think a couple of key um defensive equips could be good it, in particular it would be the bronze slot because like there's you know i have a gold um level three uh bronze or it's it's a gold level three defense for boo saga there it is right there it's 900 defense but like that's not gonna make up look at my gold equip it's five additional and four dodge like you know it, it, it's this should be higher than 900 like if this was like 2000 i would seriously consider it at that point but you know dude five additional four dodge that is a lot of crazy value so, I'm going to go with this. Um, we'll see if I end up regretting it. But, I mean, this character does have a lot of damage reduction. Um, they should be able to maintain pretty well. Um, let's just hop into an event. We'll, you know, we'll go into that Evolution Blue Vegeta event we like to use. And let's see how effective um, Exchange Majin Buu will be. Alright, guys. Um, so, we are here in an event. We got uh, Exchange Majin Buu Turn 1. Um, now, one thing to keep in mind with the Exchange Majin Buu character here... Um, is that so if we start out in slot seven we would just auto transform into evil boo right that's one of the big things about this character um is the fact that you know it, it's it's like one of these like kind of transform every turn the earliest we could get super boo out would be turn six um because so we would you know transform into evil boo on turn three and then on that turn, we would float Evil Boo. Um, and then when he returns, we'd be able to transform. Now, Evil Boo does have an HP condition on his transformation like Gotenks. But I think there's a big difference between like a, one of these Majin Boo characters having a above HP restriction. It's going to be... I, I don't know if we're ever going to have that be an issue. The other thing, too, is in a lot of instances... I think you could make a good argument that Evil Boo would actually be better defensively than Super Boo, but uh, the damage at Super Boo will eclipse Evil Boo by 50 times is what it is. And, I mean, it, it does matter, I would say, for this team. Because, like, if we're going more like an extreme class, like Majin Power type of team, um, you know, without a doubt... Um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh... We'll be healing like crazy. So, all right, let's just get this started with. Um, okay, so we're at 292k defense, and we have 70% damage reduction right here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave Boo in slot one. Um, if Vegeta supers us right away, we could see, you know, either some good tanking, or I guess the other thing that we could see right here um, is we could dodge a super attack or whatever. Um, Boo, Fat Boo at this point does not have like any multiple turn stacks or anything. We do actually get the dodge. Okay. Now, one thing that's big in the ninth anniversary meta, again, I mean, you know, I do hate to make this point about dodge. Oh, we got the hidden potential system additional. Okay. But unfortunately, it's a normal. Um, so that was great. So we got, we got a hidden potential system dodge on the super, and we got the hidden potential system additional, right? Now, remember, I just, I have to make this point. We only did that damage right there because of dodge. Um, all these people who have these full crit builds and additional builds and stuff like that, 
all of their exchange Majin Buu's would have done double digit damage right there because they would have been sealed by Vegeta. In this meta, a lot of these big bosses, they're hitting you with debuffs when they super you. So it's like, like it or not, you know, if you give dodge to, you know, because the exchange Buu is a character that will live these supers. And the thing with the Buu team, you guys know this, the goal is just to live. Because if we live, we're going to heal it all back. That's the thing with the Buu team. All of our HP, we're just healing that shit right back. Uh, we can... No, I, I probably... I probably shouldn't put Super Buu in slot one. Oh my god, dude. I, I run Super Buu and we're going to get killed. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's hope not. Let's hope not. Um... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. But, yeah, I mean, that's just the point I got to make. That dodge actually now gives you offensive value uh, because of the fact that you get locked down by the boss super attacks, right? So, let's see. So, Fat Boo, he was getting three key, 150% attack and defense, 50% attack on super, 40% damage reduction, then another 30% damage reduction if there's a Majin Power ally in the turn. So, we are going to need to make sure to use this character around a lot of uh, Majin Power characters, not really the worst because we, we probably do want to do that anyway but again that's kind of the one restriction to you know keep this character to make them good please do not super super boo okay Phew, dude god running lr super boo in any tough fight is like it's a night it's an i hate lr super boo so he's so bad he is so off he's so god awful dude lr super boo he's so trash all right anyway um uh and then finally fat boo gets an extra 50 percent attack and defense if there's no Majin Power category enemies. I guess I didn't go over his links. I probably should have done that. Because his link set does change um, once we transform as well. Alright, so there's Evil Boo now. Now, once we get Evil Boo out... Bro, Evil Boo is... is he's freaking silly, man. Uh, here, let me go back to Fat Boo. I just want to talk about his links real quick. Um, so, Fat Boo's link set. We have Majin... The Innocence, Kamehameha, Infinite Regeneration, Revival, The Wall Standing Tall, and then we also have Fierce Battle. So he is going to have 7 out of 7 with Dokkan Fest Fat Boo. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to see that, but you know, it is it is what it is. Um, all right, so now we're you know Evil Boo here. Um, so Evil Boo gets quite a bit better. Oh, I didn't talk about Fat Boo's uh, super attack effect as well, which is what? 50% attack for one turn, 30% defense for one turn. Um, and then that's it. Yeah. Okay. So now evil boo, we get 50% attack for three turns, 30% defense for three turns, immense damage, and he seals. The seal is pretty big. You know, Janemba in red zone movie boss rush. Um, we could seal cell max, right? Like debuffs, you know, of course that's going to be huge for uh, battlefield, right? Like those, those could be pretty impactful right there. Um, in terms of passive, we get three key, 200% attack, 150% defense, 70% attack on super, 40% damage reduction, then another 30% damage reduction with a Majin Power ally in the turn, 50% uh, attack and defense with no Majin Power ally, uh, category enemies, uh, then a 70% chance to stun the attacked enemy, again, would be very good for like the Cell Max fight. Um, it is only a one turn stun, but still pretty useful. This guy, of course, is a super battle road killer as well. Um, and then finally, he has a high chance to dodge. So, the high chance to dodge, I would say, is going to be pretty clutch. Um, Vegeta is queued up for a super attack right here. I think I'm going to put uh, Exchange Boo just in slot 2 right here. Just because I want to ensure that we get the attack right here. Um, and then, let's see. In terms of Link set right here, we have Majin, Brutal Beatdown, Berserker, that fodder ass Link. Uh, then Infinite Generation, Fear and Faith, Wall Standing Tall, and Fierce Battle. Alright. Wait, I meant... Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Okay. Alright, let's see. So now, I mean, this Boo team is going to be pretty crazy. Now, I, I should mention Tech Ultimate Gohan for this reason. I Like, I look at this team. My plan for Tech Ultimate Gohan is I'm just going to throw his ass on this team. Like, you know, look at the, the build we're running. We literally just replace LR Subaru, who sucks donkey dick. We replace him with Tech Ultimate Gohan, and boom, that's it. We're gaming. Tech Ultimate Gohan will actually fit perfectly on this team because this team does move slow. Um, there is a, like a really good damage dealer the team has, 
Um, and it's it's the tech evil boo, the pure evil boo, the banner unit. But, I mean, a lot of times I tend to not really use him so much just because he really wants to be run on a full Majin power team, right? Like, that's the point where he's going to be getting, like, you know, his, his extra kind of, like, um... Uh, that that's where he's going to be getting like a, a lot of his extra damage and stuff like that like the guaranteed crit the guaranteed additional super and stuff like that but it's just running a full majin power team i mean we're, we're it's like we, we could do it but you know it's like the whole time i'm praying like please lr super boo did not get us killed right all right bobby and devora come through nice 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 lucky lucky super boo and slot two right there and we probably lost crazy crazy that Vegeta tried it. He tried it. He tried it. I cut back just in time, just in case the showcase was going to end. Now, all right, we do not have the ability to go into Super Buu yet, right? Remember, in order to transform into Super Buu um, as fast as we would have wanted to right there, what we would have needed to do was float him off, and then he'd come back on turn six, um, and he would have been available to transform. Um, all right, so Evolution Blue Vegeta... This guy's really tough. I I'll be curious to see. We're definitely going to run Evil Boo in slot one right here. This is a tough boss here. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we get right here. So, um, I will go ahead and just do this. Sure. We're going to go ahead and see what he looks like. So, that's Majin, Wall Standing Tall, and Fierce Battle. Um, we'd also get Infinite Regeneration, which, I mean, that's... Uh, I've mentioned it several times. Infinite Regen... Well, actually, let's look at it over here. Whoa! Well, actually, I don't mind this. That's fine. Because Fierce Battle is just damage. Like, the big ones, like, Infinite Regeneration, Majin, shit like that, are level 10. That looks good to me. All right. Um, right here is Infinite Regeneration. This is crazy. Two key, three HP regeneration, 3% HP regeneration, 10% defense. That is like a clutch god link on some of these boo characters. All right, let's see. Um, if we dodge it, that's fire, because, you know, that'll show the defensive ability of Skinny Boo. But if we eat it, um, you know, we, we can see how good of a tank job he'll do. Okay, okay, sure. Um, up to 11 million right there. Remember, he does get 50% attack for three turns. Um, and then 30% defense for three turns. Hidden potential system additional. Beautiful, nice. Okay, so already early results. We've we've dodged the super from the, the hidden potential build, and we're getting additionals. Good. He didn't super. God damn it. All right, well, it's, I mean, it's fine. Uh, you know, he, he this guy's going to be good. Um, when it comes to running... These Majin Buu characters, I mean, Exchange Buu, it's just very simple. He's a must run. I In game right now, I mean, I do think he's the best CZ TUR, Exchange Majin Buu. Um, I think, you know, right now, J there's two major easy ATURs that JP does not have at the moment. One is Kefla, but I, I do think Buu should be better than her. I don't want to definitively say it because I haven't used Kefla. So, you guys know, I'm not going to go super crazy talking about Kefla. I haven't used her. But just based off what I've seen, what people have said, I think Kevlo should be behind Easy A Boo. And then <laughs> next week, of course, is Tech Ultimate Gohan. But I do think Tech Ultimate Gohan is going to slide onto this team in particular perfectly. Uh, Fat Boo is a 200% leader skill for Gohan. Lynx, you know, could make Gohan a lot stronger, but, you know, we, we don't need to worry about that. We could just literally, this team, add Tech Gohan exactly in the LR Super Boo slot. And we're gaming like crazy. Right. And then, I mean, I don't know what we, we would do with the Bobbity and Deboer spot. We could keep that. Like, they're, you know, they're fine. 70% dodge character. Right. You know, Tech Gohan is a Majin Buu Saga character, so that's still going to be fine for their restriction. But, like, this team, just with Tech Ultimate Gohan in place of LR Super Buu, is, like, really solid, for sure. Um, okay. So, I guess this could be bad. I'll keep us here. Since we're fighting such a tough boss. I mean, he could cook us pretty easily. Let's see. Uh, if next turn we will be able to um, transform in a Super Boo, provided our HP is 70% or above. So we'll see if that's going to happen. 
Um, I probably... So, we've been fighting a non-Majin power enemy. I probably do want to fight a Majin power enemy as well. Just to kind of see... Because, because they, you know, they have different stats for fighting Majin power and not fighting Majin power. Uh, what's a good fight for that, though? Like, those... I, I used... Back in the day, I used to do showcases all the time in those Super Boo fights. Because, like, he'd have so many phases and shit like that. But... I mean, even though we don't have a high damage team, we would probably just roll through one of those. I guess we could just do it, though. Just, I mean, see what some of these stats look like, right? Where we're um, fighting a Majin Power um, enemy. Because right now, I mean, for Global in particular, the hardest fight in the game is very likely going to... Wow, that, really? That's where you're supering? Cool. Okay. Okay, I was gonna, bro, I was gonna say, bro, 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 he cannot do me like that. All right, so uh, we have our goat out here, um, the tech uh, Super Boo. Uh, what should work well is we're going to be next to LR Super Boo. We could actually get all seven links activated right here. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. I guess I will do that because we know that, like, Vegeta just supered. He's got a long cooldown. We know Super Boo is going to take double digit damage from normals, duh, so... I guess Super Boo, in truth, he probably doesn't synergize well with Fat Boo doing this. Because, well, okay, so let's just hit this and let me see. I mean, we still got a couple. Because Super Boo here gets 50% attack and 25% chance to crit per Rainbow Key Sphere. Now, the good news is the best free-to-play unit. One of the best free-to-play units in the game's history, Mr. Goat right here. He's a double rainbow orb changer. So on this team, we are... And the other thing, too, is that the team... This is a team that's not going to struggle for key whatsoever. Like, basically, all these characters are not struggling for key. So Super Boo needing rainbow orbs, I do not think that's going to be an issue whatsoever. Like, it's not. It's going to be irrelevant, right? That's not going to hurt us at all. Um, in terms of Super Boo's links... We have Majin, Brutal Beatdown. Now we have Metamorphosis, really big link, which LR Buhan has, by the way. Um, infinite, regeneration, infinite Regeneration, Fear and Faith, Wall Standing Tall, Fierce Battle. A lot of attack links he does have. Well, I mean, I don't know. Majin gives defense. Metamorphosis gives defense. Infinite Regeneration gives defense. So I guess truly it is uh, pretty balanced right there. All right, we'll be able to get uh, two Rainbow Orbs right there. Sure. So that's going to be 50% chance to crit and an extra 100% attack right there. 484k defense is certainly not the craziest. Now, I mean, someone will hear me say, oh, what? But he has 70% damage reduction. Yeah, no, I know, I know. But understand that, like, you know, Gogeta, because once we're looking at Super Boo, now we're thinking of him versus Gogeta and sort of Hope Trunks and shit like that. Um, I, like, I think Super Boo could potentially get cooked, depending upon what our luck is on certain things, right? So... Uh, all right, let, let's just take a look. So he gets four key, 250% attack, 200% defense, start a turn, 100% attack on super attack, 50% damage reduction, and then with a Majin Power ally in the turn, he gets another 20% damage reduction. I already talked about the Rainbow Orb ability. Uh, super attack effect is where this guy is really making his money. 100% attack for three turns, and 50% defense for three turns, and seal. So that's kind of the big thing right there. It's It's... Like, if you get, like, this guy has some of the most meaningful, like, additional supers you could get. Right, like, it's, it, it, he's going to be significantly better. That's why, like, I, I I do have a lot of dodge on him. 
Because, you know, Fat Boo and Super Boo don't have dodge. Evil Boo does on this character, but Fat Boo and Super Boo don't. So I, I got it, and, and, and with the Hidden Potential System dodge, we did dodge Super already, so that's good. Um, but depending upon the additional Supers will depend upon how crazy this guy looks. We didn't get the Hidden Potential System additional right there. Okay. Um, and then, because the thing is, he doesn't have built-in additionals. So a character like Tech Ultimate Gohan, who has 50 built-in additionals now, um, right? Like, you don't even have to go that crazy for Hidden Potential System additional because it got proc in every single attack. But when you have a character like Super Boo here, unfortunately, who just only does one attack, at the chances to get the Hidden Potential System additional, even if your additional is, you know, 27, 28, 29, 30, or something like that, like, it's not as good as you would like. So, it's like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I could go either way. Additional or dodge. I feel like I did a good job of hitting both. I mean, we did get hit and potential system initial super so far. We did get dodges so far. Um, all right. I need to go into, like, a longer, stronger fight here. Because we're not, like, Super Boo at his peak. It's going to be his second turn in Super Boo. The issue with that is the earliest you could possibly see that. Is turn eight. But, I mean, that's not... In the real fights now, that is something that does... Like, I don't want to pretend like we don't see that. Like, every run. And especially with the Fat Boo team. Like, we are going to be seeing that. But just for this first run I did, um, it looks like we're actually not going to be able to get that. So, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and cut. I'll probably cut and come back on Super Boo's first turn. Um, and then we'll see what he looks like that turn. And then next turn... And then we do still need to see what he looks like against a Majin Power enemy as well. Um, I guess that doesn't matter in Super Boo. We just need to see what Fat Boo and Evil Boo look like. So I could just go to one of those Dokkan events. Alright guys, um, so here we are in turn 6. So again, this is... We have Evil Boo lined up you know, on turn 3. Um, and then he transforms on turn 3. We float him off, comes back on turn 6. Um, and we are ready to immediately transform into Super Boo. Now, because we floated him off, our stats will probably be a bit lower on this first turn. Because remember, even for Evil Boo, right, when he super attacks, the defensive buff lasts for a couple of turns. But we should see Super Boo's full power on this next turn. Uh, so we'll leave him right there. Well, actually, yeah, this is fine. All right, so we'll be able to get a bunch of rainbow orbs right here so that right there that's going to be a 100 percent chance to crit so again i mean you know if you've got mr goat running around um you know we're going to have the ability to get some crits and shit like that uh also keep in mind I'm, i want to save these rainbow orbs for super boo in a couple of turns all right let's see what the damage is 21 million right there remember this is a 100 percent chance to crit remember he gets a big attack buff big defensive buff when he supers additional no, damn. Okay. Um, because once we get that additional, okay, this is perfect. God Goku does, I think, 1.4 million is what he supers. So this should be easy. Double digits, exactly. Okay. All right, let's come back on our next turn with Boo. So next turn will be Boo's peak, where we actually have one of his big stacks up available for us, right? He's got the extra 100% attack and 50% defense next turn. All right, guys, so now we're on this turn right here. Um, we don't quite have as many rainbow orbs as I would like. I guess that is a bit of an issue here. Um, we are going to be looking good, you know, kind of like in terms of links and stuff like that. We'll have everything up except for Majin Power. I guess I could toss out the candy beam. Let's see. Um, so we have two rainbow orbs. I'd want to make sure to at least get the two rainbow orbs for Super Boo. Let's see if we'll be able to get that. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll be able to get two rainbows. Sure, that, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's still an extra 50% attack, and then we have the crit chance as well. Um, we, of course, are going to have um, Bobbity and Deborah here. So we are only at 476, huh? Um, hmm. I mean, it is good, but yeah, damn, because where this guy is going to be like starting to look a lot better is if he would get that hidden potential system additional, but I mean, it's, you guys know, I mean, my reality with trying to get the hidden potential system super is often tough. 
Um, he's he's still good though. Like I I do think that Super Boo is gonna be number two T U R when the dust settles from the celebration. Let's see what his damage looks like. Um, the easy the ease in which he's gonna be able to crit is gonna be very good though. Um, that's gonna be very helpful. The team does need a little of that. Uh, both him the easy yeah, see them. We get the hit and potential system additional, but it's a normal, unfortunately. He needs, yeah, I, the only thing is, I do wish maybe even if just Fat Boo and Evil Boo could have stacked, like, like their, their super attack effects were just permanent. I think that might have been uh, quite a bit better for, for Super Boo. Um, I mean, the character is going to be good. The point is we just need him to be able to live a super. Like, you gotta be able to live. As long as you could live on the Fapu team, then that means we're gonna be able to, to bring it all back, right? That's kind of like the biggest thing about it. Um, I'm just gonna toss... No, I'm not. Damn, I because I wanna save these. We could very easily die right here. Like, I wanna save these rainbow orbs for Super Boo, but... Like, this is a turn where we die so easily here. Do we go Super Boo? We could go Super Boo and pray he guards. I mean, Mr. Goat, we'd only be able to get to get two rainbow orbs. I guess we could do Fapu. We could do Fapu there. I probably, oh wait, I should have given, it's fine. Let's do that. Alrighty. Trying to save that rainbow orbs for Super Boo could be bad. This could just kill us. Will it? No. Oh, not even close. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's I mean that's the thing with Fapu. Fapu is too good. Right. Fapu a lot of times is too good to die. Alright, all we gotta do is just make it through this turn. And we got another rotation where Super Boo will be able to just get a bunch of rainbow orbs. Um, I mean, we, we have seen about, like, well, I don't want to say as good as he's going to look, but that would require uh, a turn where he gets the hidden potential system additional. That's going to be very clutch. All right, Super Boo. We could, of course, trust Super Boo. LR Super Boo will not fail us here. Yes, of course not. And then, see, look. Look at the HP. The HP just regen back like crazy. That's so big. So, we could get, what, six out of seven activated right here? Uh, we lose Fear and Faith right there. Um, it doesn't matter, but I think in terms of this turn, I will reverse that. Just so we can have I mean, whatever, whatever. All right, guys, let's just uh, go ahead and hit this right here. Uh, hopefully, we get the Hidden Potential System, but uh, we, will s we will see if we get the Hidden Potential System additional. All right, so we have six out of seven, and we have four Rainbow Orbs. You know, again, we could get five orbs, but, I mean, this is realistically as good as we're going to get. Although, again, with Mr. Boo around, certainly we could have five rainbow orbs in a slot. A double rainbow orb changer. Like, it is definitely a possibility, I would say. All right, so we'll make this turn um, the final one for Super Boo. Then after this, I do still want to go fight a Majin Power enemy and see what Fat Boo and Evil Boo look like against a Majin Power enemy. So we'll just go fight one of these Boo Dokkan event stages and see. So here we're up to 25 million. Okay. Uh, this is a 100% chance to crit as well. No hit and potential system again. Damn. All right. We had bad luck with it once we got the Super Boo. It's okay. It happens. I mean, you know, hopefully when we're fighting, you know, Blue Gogeta... You know, when we're in Red Zone Movie Boss Rush, that's where we can get those additionals. That will help out a lot. Um, all right, so again, uh, in Fat Boo and the Evil Boo part of the card, um, they do get less buffs if you're fighting um, a Majin Power enemy. So let's just go do that real quick. All right, guys. So we're going up against a Majin Power enemy here. Um, so we will be able to see what Boo looks like. We're going to have those four links activated. Um, again, on this turn, there's going to be an extra 50% attack and defense that we're not going to have access to here um, that we did have when we were fighting a non-Majin power enemy. Now, I don't think I really mind this buff so much. 
Um, I mean, other characters that have a similar thing to this, we saw the AGL Vegito Blue character and LR Tech Fusion Zamasu had it. Um, I never really found that to be, like, the biggest deal, I would say. It never never really felt like it, right? Like, it, it's, a, it's not something that I really feel like I'm noticing a ton. All right, so six million. Well, okay. I mean, that's a, that's a bit lower than we did see before, right? Six million right there. Okay, sure. Uh, all right. Well, I I mean, I guess we could try and get a, a second turn um, from Evil Boo, but if not, uh, there is the Exchange Majin Boo character. Um, we're definitely going to be able to use this character to good effect uh, in a lot of big fights. Um, the point with that with him is as long as he eats a su like can eat a super and live the majin power team we will full heal everything back that's that's kind of just the big thing just you know whatever it takes make sure we live the actual super um and then from there we should be good to go all right guys so there was the exchange majin boo um a very 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 good character for sure um i i think kind of a bummer that Super Boo towards the end is is so reliant on additional supers though. To me, I, I do think that's kind of a, a bummer. Like that, I, I I don't know I, because it's like even you know if we have full additional, uh, like if if you just get additional normal luck, uh, it's I mean it's not it's not gonna be looking good. Um, all right, let's uh, let's swap over. Let's take a look. So this is split into good and evil. Majin Buu good slash Majin Buu pure evil. Um, their leader skills, Majin power category key 4 and 170% of stats. Or artificial life form category key 3 and 170% of stats. Um, so passive skill is dangerous entity. Uh, so they get 3 key and 150% attack and defense at the start of turn. 50% attack on super attack. They get 40% damage reduction. And then if another... Majin power category ally in the same turn, another 30% damage reduction. I don't, that's not a big deal at all for this type of character. Cause it's like, whereas Goku, okay, so Super Saiyan 3 Goku is a similar type thing, but like it's a Super Saiyan 3 Goku who's on like, all the, you know, pure Saiyan, Goku family, Boo Saga, like time limit. Like he's on all these different, like, one, like completely structured differently teams. So like that will hurt him. But like this character, you very are likely going to be running them with other boo units when you're using them even on all of their category teams so this majin power restriction is not a it's not the same thing as wanting to run angel super saiyan 3 on time limit with all the different fusion characters and then going oh oops right something like that uh then they get an additional 50 percent attack and defense if there's no majin power category enemies um and then they exchange with boo pure evil and conditions are met that is just turn three so if you start in slot seven, you'll just auto transform. That's all you have to worry about. Turn three and you transform. Uh, the super attack is the Kamehameha, which gives him 50% attack for one turn and 30% defense for one turn and then immense damage to the enemy. I hate the way Global writes this. It's just so stupid. This always confuses people every time. It's so stupid. Like, why don't they just put 50% attack for one turn and then 30% defense for one turn? Like, I, I don't know... Why well, don't make it more clear for people? Because it's just it's just one of those things. Like like the fact that Dokkan for years and years and years, you know, they release events right around. I mean, at, this is like maybe like a, a United States thing, but like they release events, you know, right where like uh, daylight saving is a thing, and it, it's like right at the cusp where like the day changes. So it's just ridiculous. Like if they if if events and stuff like that you know, for, like, global was just, you know, in the mid, like, I don't know, 12 p.m. Eastern or something like that, it would be, like, the same day stuff would come out for, like, most of the world, right? So, I I, I don't know why, whatever, whatever, whatever. But, yeah, they get 50% attack, 30% defense, immense damage for one turn. Uh, links are Majin, the Innocence, Kamehameha, Infinite Regeneration, Revival, Wall Standing Toll, and Fierce Battle. Uh, 12 key multiplier, 150%. And uh, these boys have got, uh, <laughs> needless to say, a lot of teams here. We have got a lot going on. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. So we have the Majin Power category team, which is certainly much improved. Now the Majin Power team is looking pretty good because it, it's like we have enough 
good options, like not characters like Super Boo who will just get exploded in one second. Like we have decent characters we can run on a full Majin Power team. So a full Majin Power team is, is going to be solid, right? Because we'd be able to add him to the team and he's pretty good. Uh, then there's the Majin Buu Saga category team, of course, they're a part of. And again, remember, basically all of these categories pretty much are going to have other Majin Buus we can run with them. Uh, they're also on, what is this, the Revived Warrior category team. Uh, so Revived Warrior getting a lot better now. That's good. Uh, we're also on the Transformation Boost category team. This team is just so back in such a major way. They got to, like, like, I don't, Broly is very good. But Broly as the leader for Transformation Boost, it's like, like, like it's fine because he's so good. But like they do got to get a just like a, a villain trans like Buhan, like just literally Buhan is like the ideal Transformation Boost leader to me. I think because he's a care he would have Boo links. He'd have like big bad bosses and stuff like that. So he could work with Frieza. He work with Cell. Like at Buhan to me or Garlic Junior are like ideal. Probably uh, Lord Slug as well probably ideal transformation boost leaders like you you know because it's like we have a saiyan transformation boost leader sure but like you know having a transformation boost lead that's good for villains would be a great thing then we're on what is the storied figures no this is time travelers then we're on the time traveler category team right because remember characters like bojack and fapu that get sealed away um are on time travelers as well and demon king piccolo um then of course there's also the artificial life form mission the Beast Gohan mission on Global is not even going to be a thing. Like, it's not going to be notable at all. Not going to be notable. Uh, then there's also the Kamehameha category team. Uh, Kamehameha, of course, is uh, quite solid right there. Uh, still waiting for a leader skill for that. Then there is the all... No, this is Power Absorption. Power Absorption. Power Absorption category team. Beautiful. Uh, there's also the Gifted Warrior category team. Fapu is on Gifted Warrior. Uh, then we have, this is storied figures right here. Yep, storied figures. That's a category that can always use buffs, so we love that for sure. Uh, then we're on Heavenly Events also. Another team that could always use buffs, so we'll take that. Uh, then they're also on Sworn Enemy. Um, sure, this, one day this could be a very interesting team, I think. Sure, for sure. We also have the Legendary Existence category team. Yeah, Boo is on so many of these, like, quirky teams here. Uh, then this is... Yeah, the, the Bond of Friendship. Okay, yeah, it makes sense because he's already friends with uh, Mr. Satan at this point. Uh, this would work, though, because Mr. Boo is on Bond of Friendship, Mr. Goat. So as we could see, the new Dokkan Fest, Fat Boo, is not on Bond of Friendship. But again, as I mentioned, Mr. Goat, he's a very old character. Should be sometime around here, right? Uh, damn, is he older than I thought? I might have scrolled by him. There's his SSR. I scrolled by him. I gotta, we gotta, we gotta get Mr. Goat up. Hold on. There he is. So it looks like he came out at, in December of 2019 with uh, the Kale and Khalifa World Tournament. Okay, so there's Bond of Friendship. Uh, then finally, we are on, what is this? Worldwide Chaos. Yeah, so Fusion Zamasu. Yeah, Fusion Zamasu's team is better. Fusion Zamasu with some of these boos, man. Not bad. Not bad at all. So there's the fat boo portion of the character. So we will go ahead and transform into evil boo. Uh, all it takes to transform into evil boo is just the second turn. Or if exchange boo starts in slot 7, you'll auto transform into evil boo without even hitting fat boo. Um, it doesn't really matter either way. Fat Boo doesn't stack in any way. So it's not like, oh, like eight, with EJL Zamasu, if he starts in slot seven, you feel like you lose a little bit of defensive juice with him. But that's not a thing that happens with Fat Boo. But here's the other thing too. Fat Boo is actually really good. Fat Boo is, he towers. Here, let me be on Fat Boo. Make this Fat Boo towers over base Kefla and base Gotenks and stuff like that. Like I... You know, those characters are great. Once, you know, Super Saiyan 2 Kefla and Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. You know, when you're talking about 50% dodge or die, I mean, it's you're going to see deaths, man. 50% dodge or die. is It's just not good. At, you know, it, it, it's going to be a problem um, with very limited defense. But, I mean, Fampu is just rocking 70% damage reduction out of the gate. That's going to be pretty good in a lot of events, man. It, like, like, this is going to be a good character for probably a while. 
So then, of course, you know, Evil Boo on, on, slot, on turn 7, slot 7. Super attack changes. Passive changes. He gets the active skill, which allows him to transform to Super Boo. Um, and then some of his links do change um, as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at Evil Boo here. So his passive becomes Behind the Smoke. He gets 3 key, 200% attack, 150% defense. He gets 70% attack on super attack. Gets 40% damage reduction. And then there's a Majin Power category ally in the turn. He gets another 30% damage reduction. Again, I do not consider that a difficult restriction whatsoever. Not a big deal. Uh, he gets another 50% attack and defense if there's no Majin Power category enemies. By the way, that's one of those things. I, I explain this thoroughly, right? You know, with... with Goku is on all these different types of teams, right? Goku family, Buu Saga, shit like that. Whereas, like, with Buu, you're pretty much always going to be running with a Majin Buu category unit. But I know people are going to say, oh, my God, the truth is being inconsistent because he hates it on Goku, but he loves it here. I just effing explained it, man. I just explained it. Okay. Uh, so the 50% sats if there's no Majin power category enemies. The 70% chance to stun um, could be very good in Super Battle Road, kind of like a finishing blow. Um, could be very good in Battlefield, and then could be very good in Cell Max as well. Against Cell Max, you probably don't want to transform into Super Boo. Uh, you're going to get way more value out of just keeping Cell Max locked down with the stun than anything, I would think. Um, and then, of course, he has a high chance to dodge. I, I Evil Boo is, like, really good. Like, he is so much better than, like, Super Saiyan Kefla and Super Saiyan Gotenks. Right? Like, the, again, this guy is also towering over them. Like, it's crazy. Um, at, like, this guy having 70% damage reduction and 50%. That's a crazy combo. Like, it, it's, again, compare Kefla and Gotenks are 50% Dodgers. And, and this bastard is just sitting there with this, dude. It's nuts. Something clicked in my brain when I said that. I want to double check. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she doesn't get 70 dodge until uh, she goes into Super Saiyan 2. Still good, though. 50% dodge with two orbs. I don't that's not a big, I don't think that's a big deal at all. All right, so there's that. Um, then he has his uh, you know, active skill absorption where you could turn into Super Boo. Um, it's fourth turn after exchange. I, I feel like it's worded weird because, again, the first turn you get Evil Boo, if you float him off, when he comes back, you'll be able to go into Super Boo. So the earliest you can get Super Boo is turn six. Is the earliest you could see Super Boo. Um, now, the HP condition for this character probably won't be an issue because of the huge amount of healing that is going to be taking place from Lynx, Fat Boo at the end of turn, Boo Tanks at the start of turn, Fat Boo at the start of turn. You have healing everywhere. That's the thing with the Boo team, man. It's, again, you just... You know, Iron Man, Captain America, whatever it takes. It's just as long as you live the turn, you know, you're going to get all that HP back. It's just whatever it takes to live. Um, and you're going to be able to win. So there's that. Uh, Super Attack is the Guilty Flash. He gets 50% attack um, and then 30% defense for three turns. Does immense damage and then seals enemy Super Attack as well. So, yeah... Looks good. I, this guy is like what the thing to me that's really surprising about how good this exchange Majin Buu character is is this guy right here. I I feel like I'm actually maybe a tad disappointed with Super Buu. I I do think they went a little bit too far into offensive capabilities for him, which could be good for the Majin Power team. But I do think maybe just leaning more defensively, and he would have been a stronger character for the team, and it would make just the team better. Right Again, I think the best variant of Fat Boo's teams is going to be something similar to what we ran today, but then Tech Ultimate Gohan added to it because he's going to fit in perfectly with kind of like this slower stacking team. That's Because Tech Ultimate Gohan bosses aren't going to kill him. On this team, Tech Ultimate Gohan's not going to be dying. So he'll live, and then all the other Boos are going to heal it up. Right? This guy should live, and then all the other Boos are going to heal it up. Like It's this guy and Tech Ultimate Gohan added to Fat Boo's team. Fat Boo is going to be a lot better. Like, like, that's the thing. Like, people are going to get really obnoxious with Tech Ultimate Gohan. I mean, I'm just laughing because, I mean, he's always been this good, you know, tough. Like, people deny it for some reason. I don't know why. But Tech Ultimate Gohan is legitimately a Fat Boo buff because he's going to be awesome for Fat Boo's team. So Fat Boo, like, like, at the end of the day, if you're a fan of Fat Boo, like, you, Tech Ultimate Gohan's easy. It does help Fat Boo. It does. Like, I'm, I'm so serious. You guys will see next week. Right. So, all right. There was Evil Boo. Um, again, we could do the active skill 
Turn six is the earliest we could do it. 70% HP condition, I don't think will be a problem on the Boo team. We'll be healing up way too much, shouldn't be an issue. Um, and then we come out into Super Boo, Super Attack changes, passive changes, um, and then some of his links do change as well. Okay, so now let's swap over. So now we are up to Super Boo. Now I would confess, again, Super Boo to me is where I, I just feel like they've gone a little bit in a different direction. Um, okay, so let's go through it and I, I will talk about it. So his passive skill, Beast of Destruction, he gets four key, 250% attack, and 200% defense. Um, then he gets another 100% attack on super attack. Then he gets 50% damage reduction at the start of turn. And if there's another Majin Power category ally on the same turn, he gets another 20% damage reduction. Um, and then he gets 50% attack and then 25% chance to crit per Rainbow Key Sphere obtained. So four Rainbow Key Spheres gives him a 100% chance to crit. You know, a lot of times we're going to be at 20 plus million attack stats. So he'll be able to do, you know, reasonable damage um, for sure. Then his super attack effect, the super attack is the ill flash. So he gets 100% attack for three turns and then 50% defense for three turns, does immense damage, and then seals enemy super attack. You know what? I think if they just made this 100% defense too, I know that gives him like the best super attack in the game or something like that, but that I, he, I feel like he just, like what his defensive level is, if he additional supers, is where he's really good. Like, you know, I'm looking at it. He was in that, like, 400k range. It's like, after he supers, he'll be good. So, like, if you would have a, a turn with Super Boo and you double super, then that second turn, he's a monster. I, I just wish that you wouldn't need to double super to get to it. That's all. Because it's not, like, again, you could have max additional on this guy. And, I mean, if you get the hidden potential system additional normal, you get the normal. You're cocked. Right. And, th and the other thing too, is that this guy doesn't have built in additionals. The reason built in additionals are so powerful is because every, every additional you do has a chance to proc the hidden potential system additional. So it's like your chances for additionaling go up exponentially if a character has built in additionals. So it's just like, that's a bit of the issue. I, you know, people will get really mad, but I mean, from my perspective, I mean, the way it's always worked for me and the way the game has always been is that defense is going to be better than offense. Defense will always age better than offense as well. Although I do feel like people maybe get a little bit lost from being in the moment too much. So I, I do want to try and stay, again, in the moment of what these characters do right now. I mean, looking ahead to the future is good too, but like we should, you know, respect more of what these characters do in the moment. That's why like blue Kaioken Goku got his EZA and like everyone is like, oh, but, and that's like, no, dude, like he's actually a killer. Like, he wipes out the entire game easily. Easy a blue Kaioken. Like, I, trying to evaluate what they're doing now. Super is definitely going to be very good, but I do question, like, turn one against Go like, Gogeta Blue. Like, could he just wipe Super Boo out? So, like, I I might even consider hanging around in Evil Boo some of the time against one of these big bosses. Um, he'll probably be slightly weaker if he takes the hit. But you're going to have a high chance to dodge. Um, but again, it's if you get the good luck with the hidden potential system additional, this guy is a master chef. He's go This is Gordon Ramsay out there when he additional supers, for sure. So that covers Exchange Majin Buu. Yeah, we, we, we've covered all of it. Um, again, you know, a lot of moving pieces to this character. Um, I consider this very, very good. Again, I mean, it's kind of unfortunate for Tech Exchange Boo here. If not for... The fact that Akatsuki or Bandai or whatever has off next week, so they put in next week's data download this week. This guy would have been, I think, in my eyes, unanimous, easily number one TUR. Uh, easy, excuse me, easy ATUR is what I meant to say. This guy, I thought, in game right now, I do think he's the best easy ATUR. I think this guy probably should be more effective than Kefla. I've seen so, like, you guys know, Int Gotenks has been getting massacred on the channel over the last week. I've seen so many global players sum up the same thing happen in the Kefla in that, because. On global, you know, the most fun content for players to jump into is the Majin Buu Saga Red Zone. You know, players are tired of doing fusions and Asu and shit like that, right? So, in there, like, Kefla's getting massacred for a lot of people. That type of shit is not going to fly with this Boo. So, I do think this is the number one easy ATUR, but next week, unfortunately, they will be dropping down to the number two easy ATUR. But even that is still good. Um, this character is really good. I, I would say they're probably... 
They probably are better than I would have thought they would be. That's been happening a lot with easy ATURs. I, I think a character, my expectations for easy ATURs is usually probably around this, that Dokkan Fest Super Vegeta level. Um, and, you know, Bardock, you know, definitely, I come, like, he's just not good enough. But then, like, something like, like, in Gotenks, Kefla, this guy, like, I think they're nuts. I mean, Kefla and Gotenks can die a lot, but, I mean, there's also so many domination runs that they have, right? People just pretend that, like, Gotenks and Kefla can't just, like, wipe the entire game out easily, which they can. So, let me know what you guys think of Exchange Majin Buu. Great, great EZA. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.